In this video, we are going to talk about the eigenvalues and eigenstates of momentum and position operators and introduce two spaces for wave function called momentum space wave function and position space wave function, which are related using Fourier transforms. Let's start with talking about the eigenvalues and eigenfunctions of the momentum operator. The general solution to this equation is this, which is not a square integrable for any complex value of p. But if we restrict ourselves to real eigenvalues, we can find a kind of orthonormality as you can see. These eigenfunctions are complete and we can write any function of x, like f of x, using this integral. To find the expansion coefficient, we use the Fourier trick. Note that the eigenfunctions of momentum operator don't live in Hilbert space and just a family of them with real eigenvalues live on the edge of the Hilbert space. But we could still form a normalizable wave packet with a narrow range of momenta, which is more useful. Now, let's move on to the eigenvalues and eigenfunctions of the position operator. Here, y is fixed and x is a continuous variable. So, we can write the Dirac delta function to find the eigenstates, which again are not square integrable, but still orthonormal in a kind of way, with real eigenvalues. They are also complete with these coefficients. Now, suppose that we have a particle in state psi, and a measurement of the position operator on this state yields one of the eigenvalues of the position operator, which uh, we have denoted using y. To find the probability of finding the particle at position y in time t, we need to calculate the expansion coefficient, and here is the probability we needed. But what about the probability of finding the particle at momentum p at time t if we are given the same state psi for the wave function? Again, we find the expansion coefficient for the momentum operator, which its square is a representation of probability of finding the particle at momentum p at time t. This quantity is very important, which has been given a special name, the momentum space wave function, phi of p and t, which is the Fourier transform of the position space wave function. When we are in position space, the momentum operator is this, h bar over i, d dx, but when we are in momentum space, the position operator is minus h bar over i, d dp. We can use these two spaces to solve different problems in quantum physics. To find the expectation value of any operator in position space and momentum space, we have these two different integrals, which can be used based on our problem.